So both builds today are very interchangeable. You just switch a Dragon Shadow. Obviously, the stat split's going to look very similar to this. It's going to be 10 to 10, and then I believe the Intellect's going to 4. So pretty much the exact same thing. It's going to look like this. So with Gear Falcon, I'm using an Adrenaline Junkie Funnel Web. You can shoot them once with Forerunner and then throw the Magnetic Grenade, and it is going to secure a kill, which means you're getting Wall Hacks. And then your SMG in your backpack is going to get Adrenaline Junkie Boost, and you are going to run the team over. Then you get Steady Hands to improve the handling, go right back to Forerunner, tap them once, jiggle into cover, slide out with the SMG. This other setup is more of a joke, but it is entertaining, so maybe you like seeing me stretch the ammo of Ariana's Bell with the Magnetic Grenade in the same way. I would say that Ariana's Bell is better in a team setting. Because a lot of players, they get hit by a 120, like a single shot of it, and they think, oh, I have enough health to peek again. But what if they peek into the Ariana's Bell? So, that's how it works. Shoot them once with the 120, switch to the Ariana's Bell, they peek thinking they have more health than they actually do, they get one-tapped. So, as you can see on 8 Resilience, 4Runner is a 2-head, 1-body, and on 9 Resilience, you survive the 2-head, one body. So now let's talk about Ariana's Vow. The damage number is for death at first glance, which means you have to be aiming down sights with the opening shot, the first shot. It's 190 to the head, 103 to the body. And then once that perk is broken, like you spam two shots in a row or you miss, you hit 143 to the head and 78 to the body. That 143 matters because I believe you have to use a 120 hand cannon headshot to get the cleanup. First, Let's just confirm that I can use a 140 hand cannon to first glance headshot and just shoot in the body. Very clean kill, 10 resilience. Next up, I'm going to miss first glance and go for a headshot with a 120. We know it's not going to work with Ostringer. The math doesn't get to 230. This gets exactly to 231, and we never know because of decimal rounding. All right, that was clean. So ideally with Ariana's Vow, you want to use something like Dragon Shadow or Lucky Pants to have a faster draw to your second weapon. I'll demo what that looks like. There you go. It's that quick. That's how you use it. If you want to stretch the ammo though, you shoot him with Ariana's Vow and throw the Magnetic Grenade, and then you have more Ariana's Vow to use. Instead of using a 120 hand cannon, I ended up using a 120 Scout with Ariana's Vow. And it ended up being pretty funny. Not very effective. I would only argue that you can get away with this on a map like Multiplex or Widow's Court. Something like that. But here are the damage values of this 120 Scout. 92 and 55. Okay, it actually doesn't matter. Just use a 120 hand cannon. I hope you all enjoy the gameplay. See you all in the next. I stayed up late to get this one done. Okay, so I'm not going to post commentate. But I didn't feel like this video was done if I didn't tell you my overall thoughts on the Forerunner versus Ariana's Vow. The thought process is, in either case, I'm stretching the amp. Oh, I should probably mention why I shoot the teammates. It's because they take Chows in a 1v3, and I'm trying to show them the safe path. Like, you can see on your radar when your teammate's not with you to look down that lane. So anyway, that's kind of a toxic thing to do. You don't have to do it. Use it at your own discretion. But just know, like, your win likelihood goes up when your team plays with you. But you also might tilt your teammate. This ended up being a post commentary. Anyway, if you really want to win that bad, get a team of three yourself or join voice or text chat or both. Okay, disclaimer aside. The idea of today's build is to use Magnetic Grenade to stretch the ammo. And it works great on both, but I ended up liking Forerunner better because Gear Falcon with the SMG sort of stands alone. Whereas a hand cannon or a scout rifle with only Dragon Shadow and no Ariana's Bow feels very empty. You need the special ammo. So maybe Dragon Shadow is more of a double primary thing now. Unless, of course, you just stockpile a bunch of shotgun ammo. So I felt like I could never run out of Forerunner ammo when I was using it as cautiously as I was using Ariana's Bow. So for that reason... I think I like Forerunner better because if I need to emergency TTK somebody, I can just dump all three bullets. But I guess the same could be said about Ariana's Vow 2-tap, where you just 2-tap them with Ariana's Vow. 
Maybe the better loadout is Lucky Pants, because eventually you're going to run out of Ariana's Bow Ammo, and you can still use Lucky Pants to buff your hand cannon. Not that Dragon Shadow Slide isn't appreciated, but the accuracy bonus of Lucky Pants is very noticeable. So overall, if I had to win a tournament tomorrow using one of these weapons, I'm using Forerunner. But that being said, if you're an Ariana's Bow fan, let me know in the comment section what build is the most effective for you using Ariana's Vow. Maybe it's going to be something like Sanguine Alchemy. I doubt that kills 10 resilience in this meta, but you really never know until you test it. Maybe it's the Enhanced Fusion Grenade of Warlock. I don't know. Let me know. I'll try it out and follow up in a future video. So with that, my friends, I'm going to get some rest. I know it's like early morning when I upload these, but yeah, just trying to keep the daily upload streak. Y'all are the best.